So here we are for permutations of like objects. Um, now, this is a great Australian word, woolamaloo. Now, if I take this O and this O and I take them and I switch them, you won't be able to tell the difference. If I took uh, this O and switched it with that O, it will still read the same, it will still be woolamaloo. So, first question we're going to ask when we come to these questions is ask ourselves, how many different ways could I swap up the like objects so that somebody wouldn't be able to tell the difference? So here, okay, I can swap all of the O's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight factorial ways. Okay, so O's, eight factorial way. I can swap all of the L's, uh, one, two, three, uh, three factorial ways. But I can also sort of swap two O's and swap one set of L's, or I could swap two O's and swap a different set of L's. So the total number of ways that I can swap O's and L's in this word so that you would still see exactly the same word is using the multiplication principle, eight factorial times three factorial. So that's how uh, this formula comes to be, which you have seen before. The number of permutations of n objects of which n1 are alike, n2 are alike, blah, 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 is n factorial. That's how we swap all of the letters around, divided by the th letters that you would swap around and not be able to tell the difference. In this case, 8 factorial times 3 factorial. So if we wanted to do, um, if we wanted to say how many ways can we permute Woolamaloo? How many unique ways can we permute Woolamaloo? Well, there's 13 words there, so 13 factorial, sorry, 13 letters, over 8 factorial times 3 factorial. And I'm not going to figure that out, but that's how we can use that formula. Okay, find the number of permutations of the letters in the word riffraff. Okay, so that's going to be 8 factorial, because I see 8 letters. Uh, I see 2 R's, so that's going to be 8 factorial divided by 2 factorial, and I see 4 F's, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 4 factorial. Okay, and then calculate that. I'm not going to get stuck into that, but that's how you do it. Finally, there are 4 identical knives, 3 identical forks, and two identical spoons. So that's four plus three is seven plus two is nine. Um, how many ways can this be done? All right, so nine factorial over um, four factorial times three factorial times two factorial answer. Um, now, this question, this next question is a really interesting one. I've never really seen anything like it quite like it before, or at least I haven't tried to solve a question like it before, uh, using this method. Uh, the grid shown consists of unit squares. By travelling only right, only in the right, 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 or down, 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 how many paths are there from point A to point B? Um, now you could go, say, right, right, down, right, down, down, right, down, right. Uh, let's see how many steps I just took. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might just write that down like as a word. R, R, D, R, 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 D, R, 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 D, R. Oops. All right. I got there in the end. R, R, D, R, D, D, R, D, R. Now, no matter how I go from A to B, I've got to do five R's and I've got to do four downs. Um, so that's like a word and I can just rearrange that however I want. Maybe I want to go down, 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 down. That's four, down, uh, right, 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 right. That's five. So maybe that's a version. There's a whole bunch of different versions. And obviously I can take these letters now and, and permute them the same way that we've, we've done already. So I can say that the number of ways is equal to um, 9 factorial over 
the number of repeated letters in the first group, one, two, three, four, five, five factorial, times the number of repeated letters in the second group, D, 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 four factorial. And uh, that's gonna be a number, 126. Uh, I really like that question. Haven't really played with one like that before, but it's pretty cool. Uh, that is permutations of like objects. You've got a neat little formula for it, but try to think about how that formula works and why it works.